Welcome to Cooking with Andrea. Today, I am super excited. I love uh, beer battered chicken fingers. So that's what I'm gonna be making today. Uh, we've got some, we've got a cup and a half of just regular uh, flour. And just gonna get it all out of here. We're good there. Okay, I have four tablespoons of cornstarch. Um, I don't know if I'll remember the exact measurements of everything, but in case I make a mistake, I will have everything in the description box. So I'm just going to uh, get the cornstarch in. Okay. Well, just got a little bit. And then I have a half a teaspoon of baking powder. A half a teaspoon of baking soda and I have two teaspoons of sugar okay so we're good there now what I'm gonna do is get this all mixed up mm -mm -mm. I can smell the seasonings right here it smells so good uh, the flour? Let's see. No, I don't smell anything in the flour. It has to be my seasonings here. Okay, I'm going to start right here with a half a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm just going to put everything in. And then I have one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of celery powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of smoked paprika. So I'm just going to go ahead and get it all dumped in. Now we're going to mix it. Really easy recipe. Love this recipe. You know, I was looking, I hate to say it, but my splurge is uh, fried chicken. That's my splurge or chicken strips. I love uh, chicken strips and fried chicken, things like that. But I don't need it very much because first, it takes a few minutes to make. Second of all, uh, you know, I tell you. Watch what you eat when you get older. This getting old is for the birds. I say that a million times. So that's my splurge go-to. But I was one day hungry for like chicken strips. And I didn't want to go out of the house. And my favorite place to have um, chicken crispers is Chili's. I love the chicken crispers at Chili's. Um, and then KFC is my favorite fried chicken. And then... Um, you know, but I wanted chicken crispers and I was like, I got to create something so I don't have to go out of the house and I could just stay here and have what I want. And um, so I made this, you know, I looked up recipes, looked up stuff online, took my fried chicken, you know, mix. And I was like, nah, it's not dry. I want something more like a wet batter. And I came up with this with all the things that I read up on and stuff like that. And did this and was like, whoa, so happy, so excited. Um, okay, so all my flour is mixed together. And now what I'm going to do is take my beer. And you can use any kind of beer you want. I'm using uh, Dos Equis, uh, Kind of, that's what I had in the fridge. And that's what I use. Um, it's so funny, I'm not a beer wine connoisseur. I'm learning. I'm going to start out with a cup. And for this much, I believe I need a cup and a half, two cups. But you know what I do is I mix in. I know what consistency I want. And it's all up to you because you can have it a little bit thicker or you can have it a little bit thinner. Depends on how much breading you actually want on the chicken. So I'm just going to mix it up just like this and just pour more. I'm just going to put the rest in. I'm going to give it a good mix. And that kind of depends on your taste. But um, I like the way this comes out, and you'll be able to see mine. So if you want yours a little bit thinner or a little bit thicker, your, um, your uh, coating on your chicken, your wet batter, uh, you'll be able to tell. So that's one cup. And then let's see here. I'm going to go a half. And I may need more too, because my my uh, I went ahead and increased my um, my batter amount. 
because uh, I had it at a smaller, but I was a uh, smaller amount. But then I was like, that doesn't make sense for a family of three or four eating. Uh, how are you going to make enough for your family? So what I did is I increased it, worked on what I'm doing, um, and so I could show you guys. So it made sense. So you don't have to sit there and increase it yourself. You can decrease it by half. And I'll tell you a secret. I have a fish batter. If you go in and look at that one, just copy that one. That's half of this recipe. Because we eat more chicken at one time than we do uh, fish. Okay. Looking good. Get some muscle in between you and the fork and the bowl. Okay. Okay. Perfect. I'm just going to put the rest of it in it. It's just a drip. So I took a full bottle of beer. And I like the consistency of the batter. I don't feel it's too thick. I don't feel it's too thin. Okay, so I have my fryer heating on 300. Um, it's been heating for about 35 minutes. Everything is ready to go. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just double check. Yep, everything is ready. I'm going to go ahead and put my basket down. And now I'm going to grab the chicken, my chicken. And we're going to get started. I'm going to drop a few pieces and show you. And then as soon as a couple pieces come back out, I'll drop some more. But we will go to break after I drop a couple of these pieces. But I do want you to see. Try not to cross-contaminate cross anything here. Uh, so everything I use today, after, you know, I use it when I'm done, it has to go away. And you can use your fingers. You can use gloves. You can use whatever you want. No big deal. What I'm going to do is I am going to get it in my fryer. You have to swish it around. And you know what, guys? I'm sorry. I'm going to turn my fryer another way so you guys can see better. Okay, I'm just going to drop a couple more in there so it's nice and even. Okay, and I don't want too much of my batter to drip off. I want them to be a little fatty. And then what I'm going to do is drop one more, and then I'll flip mine around for you guys to see. But I want to get a finished product out for you guys to see. And boy, you know, I cleaned my fryer, but you know, I'm going to make all sorts of mess with my wet batter, but it's okay. I don't mind cleaning it up. Let me see here. Let me take my little contaminated towel, as I call it. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this way better or this way. And you might not be able to see it all. Okay, so I'm going to let this go for until it's crispy, uh, until it's brown and golden, but I also do an eight minute time. I do an eight minute time. I try and always cut my uh, chicken strips <clears throat> the way they need to be cut uh, for my timing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do kitchen eight, and we'll see how that comes out. We'll be back. Okay, so we went ahead and adjusted the camera. I've got some beautiful, uh, chicken fingers already fried for you we're gonna fry some more though i wanted you guys to be able to see um and then i timed them so um i timed the first set for eight minutes they came out fantastic especially if you like your chicken really kind of done um i am one of those that likes my chicken kind of done but i also uh set it for six minutes as well and six minutes will cook these little chicken strips just perfectly fine. So it's your doneness. Um, so try six minutes, then try eight. But I want you guys to see how this looks while it's frying. And like, remember I told you, you got to dredge the bottom. And then I wanted to let you know, I started out with four chicken breasts, four frozen chicken breasts. And all I did is unthawed them. And then I cut them a little bit bigger than the width of my finger. And I uh, went ahead and just ran the length of the chicken. And this is how I got my chicken fingers. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm just draining some excess off because I don't want too much. They come out lovely. This is a really good chicken dish for every once in a while. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to know how many calories are in this thing. But guess what? We've got to enjoy every once in a while. And then as soon as you take your chicken fingers out, what you want to do is salt them right away. I don't have a whole lot of salt in here. Uh, you don't need to salt them if you don't want. I feel I have plenty. I wouldn't salt them um, all the time. It just depends on how you feel. Some days I have what's called salty days and some days I don't. Um, so I'm just going to throw this one in. I'm going to overcrowd my basket for a minute because I only have these two little pieces left. And then we're done. But this didn't take me any time to fry. I also made a couple of potatoes. One potato for everybody. You know how when I I love potatoes and potatoes are starch for me. Uh, so, you know, I don't eat a whole lot this way fried. But I did fry uh, a potato for everybody. And just wanted to let you see. So there's one potato and I did them real super thin. Uh, really super thin. Uh, they taste fine. Just wanted you to see how this is looking. This is looking great. I'm going to put six minutes on my timer. And guess what? We're going to go ahead and get this mess cleaned up. And then we are going to go ahead and uh, come back and plate. Welcome back. Okay, we're done frying. Everything is good. I'm going to pull the chicken out. Let this rest for a second. Looks delicious, smells delicious. And uh, this is not something my family, we eat a lot of. We eat this like maybe once a year or twice a year. Unless you take me to Chili's, then I'm gonna have what's called their chicken crispers because that's my absolute favorite. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to take and dump my basket real fast and put my fries in. Well, we assemble. The only thing about this chicken is, is boy, it makes your basket a mess. My oil and everything was clean and fried and everything. So what I'm gonna do is this is what I normally do. Just add a little bit of salt right here. And I do it as I take them out of the fryer because it doesn't need that much salt. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna plate this. Wanted to also let you guys know we are going to be traveling next week. We're gonna be in California. We're going to the races. We're gonna see our NASCAR people out there and have some fun but we're going to be looking for ideas to bring back uh product to bring back that we can cook uh different ideas so i'm really super excited about that uh so what we're going to do here is i have my little um uh, coffee filter and i'm just going to put a couple pieces of chicken in here and this is normally what i would do at night And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a couple of fries right on top. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is give a salt and a pepper to my fry. And that's how I like mine. Okay, so we're gonna let our basket sit here. Let me stick that piece of chicken in a little bit better. I got a big old fat piece right there. And the reason I have uh, the little piece of um, filter in here is just in case there's any oil. I don't want any oil in there, or I don't want it to just sit with my food. So I'm just going to put a few of these little shoestring potatoes sticking out. But it's all about the chicken today. Today is all about the chicken. This is how we're gonna serve it. Got some fries in there. And you know what? Let me do this. Let me take this one out. Cause you know, I'm just overstuffing my basket. I'm bad, I'm an overstuffer. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna add some ketchup. We're just gonna have some ketchup. I would say some ketchup or some ranch and we're good to go. 
We're gonna try this too. Real fast. And if you like the content, if you would please like, share, and subscribe. And thanks all my new subscribers. I got so many the last couple days, so thank you all very, very much. Uh, I appreciate you all very much. So I'm gonna try this piece right here. Mmm. Nice. Um. Mm. So fantastic. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So good. It's got the crunchy. Mm. Six minutes is perfect for this size chicken. So, like I said, if you want to try my uh, beer battered chicken, I'd be grateful. Thanks and have a blessed week.